a beautiful, tender, sexy, right, feminine woman. How can you feel all that bouquet of emotions when you touch a robot? Of course, I'm the first personal assistant built by CyberLife. I take care of most everyday tasks like cooking, housework, or managing your appointments, for example. Mm. And I understand you're the first android to have passed the Turing test. Could you tell us a little more about that? I really didn't do much, you know. I just spoke with a few humans to see if they could tell the difference between me and a real person. But it was a really interesting experience. Hi, guys. From me and Bubbly. I'm Maria from Ukraine, who has been currently living in California, sunny San Francisco. We are going to discuss this little video from YouTube about a robot woman, which can be a future of the scammers nowadays. Can you imagine that? Uh, I don't know what are your opinions about um, a robot woman, <laughs> which is going to be very probably famous and... Uh, uh, popular nowadays, but uh, I would not uh, think that a man uh, who is mature enough, who is adult enough, and he is ready to do this risk and to start a real adult human relationship with a human being uh, is uh, really an adult man, responsible man, for his life and he will be responsible for someone else's life so i think all these technologies nowadays which makes uh, our life better is perfectly nice uh, when it comes about uh, domestic uh, stuff how to clean our house how to make our life easier and so on but when it goes about human relationships i don't think any robot no matter how many options he or she has is able to exchange real love real human relationships and feelings which we can feel and achieve only in a real relationship so yeah number one thing was uh, the options programmed in a robot right Tell me if you really trust that no matter how many options a robot can have, it's possible to create a happy relationship with a robot, right? And number two things I also want to discuss with you guys is that um, all people are born as babies, right? Uh, we all come um, in the same way. <laughs> though in different conditions and environment definitely but uh, one of the most powerful ability of a baby if you know it if you remember it is a touch uh, a baby can be absolutely helpless cute and we think that baby can't do anything when a baby is just born but uh, if you have ever had baby before or if you studied psychology, something about human being, you would know that a baby who is even a few months old or a few years old uh, has a very developed um, skill, which is touch. Baby uh, has very strong hand and he can hold even your hand quite strong as a baby right and he can do uh, unbelievable things as a small human being uh, even when we think that a baby can't do anything and can't survive without us i had a story when i was a baby i had a little baby bed and once i wanted my mom's attention so bad but my mom uh, probably tired uh, as a woman after delivering and so on uh, was so busy she didn't hear me and i started jumping in my baby bed so strong while holding the bed frames uh, that in a few minutes me as a baby i think i was two or three years old i broke the the bed <laughs> and i continued uh, uh, hanging on the frame of the bed imagine how strong is um, the touch 
power of every human being and how important it is even since we're just babies we're just newborn beautiful little souls so what i can i wanted to tell you that number two thing when we talk about robots and scammers someone not realistic not existing really what about a touch how can you feel all those feelings and uh, touch someone who is robot who is not a real human being a beautiful tender sexy right feminine woman how can you feel all that bouquet of emotions beautiful happy emotions right um, unbelievable emotions undescribable emotions hot emotions uh, when you touch a robot or any tech stuff either you touch a real woman a, re a real human being that's why human touch is very important in relationship and psychologists have been discovering that every human being even not depending on their uh, main languages of love as you remember in a book there are different languages of love the words of affirmation the touch and physical uh, connection right and uh, uh, so many more you've heard it a long time ago the presence all oh, we are so different we understand love and the different um, things and signs uh, it also uh, is influenced on us from our childhood and so on but every human being even if a touch is not your main language of love is important for every normal healthy happy human being so the more you touch your partner the more she wants to touch you shows uh, how deep and honest and real your love is so guys i beg you forget about all those stupid pictures and videos in uh, fraud uh, marriage agencies and uh, free or cheap dating apps unless you really meet this woman unless you touch at least her hand and unless you see have a woman in real life in a real meeting better in many many meetings only then you can judge what's going on right will touch you so you can feel and see how much your woman wants to touch you and how much you want to touch her and if this um, feeling is the same if you both want to touch each other uh, a lot uh, like holding each other's hands or being together hugging kissing I'm not even talking about sex it's a different level right real love doesn't start with sex real love finishes with sex and then marriage or before even whatever you the whatever you decide the world has changed right I'm talking about touch so no matter how good the woman looks on a picture video or real life only uh, when you touch her and only from the quantities uh, of those times when the woman touches you you can understand if you really pleasant for each other if you really want to touch each other's at least in a decent way and feel each other's energy and feel this connection right then probably you may judge that this woman is plus or minus is attracted to you and you are attracted to her but you cannot do that with a robot